This is a list of the supplies you need for the light box. Of course, you modify it as to what you have and what your needs are. Here's the light box on its stand. You can also see the lights on their stands plus the tripod. This is a piece of the polarized film. I got it from polarization.com. This chick brooder light has polarized film duct taped on it. It's very important to make sure that both lights have the film aligned in the same direction. Here the lights are at a 45 degree angle from where the painting is going to be located. I drew a light pencil line of the 45 degree angles on the foam cord so I could make sure my lights were aligned. The film is taped onto the lens of my camera. I've made a little arrow so I know that my alignment of the film is at 90 degrees in relation to the film on the lights. The little lamp for the autofocus needs to be clear of the film as well. The film stays on my camera whether it's on or off. It works pretty good. I can use the polarized film when I'm outside. It works pretty good there too. Thanks for watching. You can find me at cedarcachette.com or at Plain Air Cedar on Instagram.